Today I'm in Rockledge, Florida, and I'm at the Civic Hub here at the Rockledge City Hall. Rockledge is a charming small town on the east central coast of Florida, a little bit north of Vieira, and has some beautiful riverfront property. In this video, I'm going to show you through pictures and video what it's actually like to live here in this beautiful small town of Rockledge. And we're going to get after it right now. My name is David Jelinek and I'm a local real estate agent here in the Melbourne, Florida area, which is also known as the Space Coast. Please know that I make videos that are all about the Melbourne, Florida area, what it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here. The food, the beaches, the entertainment, the real estate, and much, much more. I've lived in this area for almost 40 years. I know it very well and I want to tell you the story about Melbourne, Florida. But today is very special because today I'm going to do a video about what it's like to live in Rockledge, Florida, a town that I've lived in for the past 38 years. I know it very well. And I want to tell you the story about my hometown of Rockledge, Florida. In this video, I'm going to show you and explain to you what it's actually like to live in Rockledge, why I've lived in Rockledge for the past 38 years. And I'm also going to show you some of the pros and cons for living in Rockledge. This video will be your complete guide to living in Rockledge, Florida. And stay to the very end because I'm going to share with you some of my favorite eateries and some of my favorite things to do in Rockledge. Rockledge is located about an hour's drive southeast of Orlando on the east coast of Florida on the mainland, but it's only about a 20 minute drive to the beaches of the Atlantic Ocean. Now Rockledge is the oldest city in Brevard County and it was incorporated back in 1887. It is currently the fifth largest city in Brevard County if you include Merritt Island as a city and it currently is home to 28,000 residents, 39,000 residents if you include all the unincorporated areas. The unincorporated areas are including those south of Rockledge, which is the northern part of Vieira, which is the fastest growing area in Brevard County for residential and commercial development. The main roads running through the city of Rockledge are Barnes Boulevard, Barton Boulevard, Fisk Boulevard, and U.S. Highway 1. And yes, this is the same U.S. Highway 1 that runs from Maine all the way down to Key West, Florida. one of the most beautiful drives in Rockledge and all of Brevard County is the six mile stretch of Rockledge Drive which runs along the coast of the Indian River. Along Rockledge Drive and some of the other nearby streets between US 1 and Rockledge you will find some of the most beautiful turn of the century homes that are nestled in with a large canopy of old oak trees and the beauty of this area is unmistakable and is very desirable.
So while Old Barton along the river used to be the city hub for Rockledge, the new city hub is more in the middle of town now along Barton Boulevard next to the city hall. In fact, the city of Rockledge just built a 1.5 acre community park that is called the Civic Hub and it features a small amphitheater, restroom and some buildings, and space for city activities like Food Truck Fridays, Rockledge Market Days, and other special holiday activities. It's a great little community park. So here's a look at Central Florida with Brevard County in the highlighted area here and of course Orlando. That blue dot there is Rockledge. And what I love about Rockledge, Rockledge is centrally located in Brevard County. And if you're working uh, at the northern extent here of the county up in Titusville or down here in Palm Bay or over on the coast, it's all within 30 minute drive. So Rockledge puts you in a central corridor to everything Brevard County. So if you're working, if you're a contractor or working up here at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station or KSC, which is right over here, you're within a 30 minute drive of about 95 to the beach line over here to Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. If you're working down in L3 Harris or somewhere down here in Palm Bay, it's again, 30 to 35 minute drive max down here straight on 95. Uh, if you were going to at the Patrick Space Force Base, uh, Patrick Space Force Base, like I did for uh, several years, it's a uh, less than a 30-minute drive across here to the beaches area. And again, you have everything accessible here within Vieira. So you have the the government centers are here. Uh, if you want to get a new driver's license or any kind of license for the county here, you're you know within 15-minute drive there. So Rockledge puts you within 30 minutes or less drive of almost everywhere in the county. No matter if you're out there just enjoying a nice eatery somewhere or some kind of outdoor activity or if you're working and that's what's great that's a great asset of rockledge is that you're within 30 minute drive of just about everything as for the schools rockledge has a great selection of schools to offer uh, for high school you have rockledge high and vieira high that rockledge residents will go to as always i suggest that you go to an online service like niche.com greatschools.org or even forgetoday.com that has ratings on each individual school as for healthcare, rockledge and the rockledge surrounding areas has a great selection of healthcare options in rockledge itself is the rockledge regional medical center but in addition there's a plethora of physician clinics, other doctor offices that are available in Rockledge and in the surrounding areas. So just like almost every city in Brevard County, Rockledge enjoys a great selection of community parks and recreation within its town. So the number one park in Rockledge, Florida is no doubt McClarty Park on Barton Boulevard. So this 20 acre community park is a hub of activity. It features Little League baseball fields and is the home of Rockledge Little League. It has a community center and a pavilion in the center of the shaded grounds which provide a venue for community events and recreational activities for all ages. There's additional facilities for a barbecue pit at the, at the pavilion. There's restrooms, scattered picnic tables, tennis court, basketball court, volleyball court, pickleball courts, and a ball field concession stand and a community, a community swimming pool, which is available for swimming classes and swimming lessons. favorite memories of McLarty Park was when Rockledge had its 125th anniversary back in 2012. Uh, there was just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people there just enjoying music and food and just uh, friendship of everybody there. And uh, that's what's so great about McLarty Park. It's a big park that you can do a lot of different things at, but that was my best memory of McLarty Park. So besides McLarty Park, there are other several other nice parks throughout Rockledge, like most cities here on the Space Coast. So one of my favorites is the Helen and Alan Crookshank Sanctuary there off of Barnes Boulevard. It's a 140-acre uh, conservatory area where you can go out there and just see some of the scrub jays and some of the just natural Florida landscape. Just a nice little walk path. You can do a 1.1-mile walk around the park there. It's just another nice sanctuary that you'll find here in Brevard County. And besides that, there's other great things to do. So we have the Space Coast Iceplex here in Rockledge, one of the very few Iceplex ice arenas in Central Florida. And my 
son uh, played hockey there. I played hockey there. There's also figure skating, of course, and they have fun nights for the kids and everything else. But the Space Coast Iceplex is just a nice little facility if you're into ice skating and uh, just golf courses. There's three golf courses in Rockledge to enjoy. I played all three of them. They're all very nice courses. So you have those courses here in Rockledge. Of course, there's many others throughout the Brevard County. But there's just a lot of fun things to do in Rockledge alone. Rockledge offers a very diverse selection of styles of homes and property. In Rockledge, you can of course buy a single family home, you can buy a condo, a villa, townhome, half duplex, duplex, an old home, new homes, homes on small lots, homes on an acre, or even five acres or more. There are homes on lakes, there are homes and condos on the river, and of course, single family detached homes is by far the most common with about 85% of the housing in Rockledge City now being built between 1960 and 2000. 2008. There's only about 6% of the homes in the city of Rockledge that are newer than 2008, and that's very common for an older city like Rockledge. The new development is happening out in the unincorporated areas of Vieira. So when I first moved here right out of college, I was 21. I was a second lieutenant in the Air Force here at Patrick Air Force Base. I bought my first home in Rockledge a few years later for the big old price of $49,000. And a reason I did is because I could buy a little bit more for my money in Rockledge, and that still holds true today. Okay, so let's talk real estate now. So for the year 2022 in Rockledge, single family home sales, there were 597 sales with the low price being 119,000, the high price being 2.7 million, the median sales price was 410,000, and the average sales price was a little higher at 485,000. So for condo sales in Rockledge for the year 2022, there were 119 sales, the low was 95,000, the high was 720,000 for a riverfront condo in South Rockledge. The median condo sales price was 240 and the average was very similar at 243,000. So in comparing Rockledge's sales numbers to Vieira, Vieira's median sales price for 2022 was 530,000. So the difference between Rockledge and Vieira, that's about 30%. But the reason that number is such a big spread is because Vieira has many, many more newer homes, which are, means more higher price sales. That's what's dragging the price up for Vieira versus Rockledge. Now, when you compare Rockledge to Vieira for homes that are similar, the same size, the same age, the same lot, then the prices are a little more comparative, but uh, still Rockledge is about five to 10% less expensive than Vieira when comparing apples to apples and so it proves the point that you get a little bit more for your money when buying in Rockledge. Now one of the most popular home requests I have for Rockledge is of course that Rockledge Drive, that riverfront, direct riverfront stretch along Rockledge Drive. In 2022 and including the first quarter of 2023, there were 12 home sales along Rockledge Drive that had direct riverfront. The low sale being 899,000, the high sale being 1.9 million plus, and the median home sales was 1.44 million. Now. In fact, there's one right now that's listed for two million that's under contract. So if you're looking for a riverfront home, an intercoastal direct riverfront home, Rockledge is a must look at. I've sold dozens and dozens of riverfront homes in my career. I know the riverfront very well. So if you're looking for a riverfront home, give me a call, shoot me a text. I'll be happy to show you what's available in Rockledge and in other areas as well. Okay, so let's talk about a great fun subject here and that's restaurants, my favorite restaurants in Rockledge. Now, I want you to comment below. You tell me what your favorite restaurants are, if they're the same as mine or if they're something different, but I'm no particular order, but uh, a few of my favorites here are Thai Fuji, which is a Thai food and sushi restaurant. We love going there, getting the big you know, boxes and everything else. Uh, just a lot of food, a lot of great food. Another one of my favorites is Twisted Birch, which is a restaurant that's right there on the Turtle Creek Golf Course. They were recently just voted having the best wings in Brevard, and I tend to agree with them. They're very good. Nice atmosphere right there at the golf course. The mother of my favorites are Bacchi's and Kelsey's. Both of these are pizzeria slash Italian restaurants. Both have great pizzas. Both have great pasta dishes. Two of my favorites. 
Another one that's under the radar, in my opinion, is underestimated, and that's Autumn's Crab, a seafood restaurant there in the old Winn-Dixie Plaza, which is now thrifty specialty and meats. So Autumn's Crab is a great seafood restaurant there that offers, well, my favorite is their seafood boil. But uh, again, just uh, in my opinion, just underrated. Go check that out. And then right new in Rockledge in the last couple of months is King's Grill right there on Barton Boulevard. And King's Grill has great uh, wings. I've had them a couple times. Check out King's Grill. So to sum up living in Rockledge, my wife and I have been here for 38 years. We raised our kids here in Rockledge. We've been very happy with the small town atmosphere of Rockledge while still being accessible within a short distance to all the activities of Brevard County, all the Melbourne, all the growing of Vieira, the beaches, all within a 30 minute drive, Orlando, an hour's drive. We've enjoyed living in Rockledge. If you're considering a move to a Rockledge area, send me an email, shoot me a text, and I'll be happy to show you what's available here in Rockledge discuss with you Rockledge a little bit more if you're looking for something in Melbourne I can help with that also but again I've lived in this area for almost 40 years I know the area very well I've sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of properties in the Rockledge and Melbourne areas and I can help you too thank you so much for watching this video we'll see you on the next one